Hello and welcome to Yadokari Nation. My name is Caroline and today I'll be talking to you about hermit crab molting. This is my hermit crab Marceline. Marceline is very active and friendly so she'll be helping us today understand hermit crab molting. Molting is how a hermit crab grows. When a hermit crab molts it sheds the exoskeleton. That's all the hard skin on the legs and claws of the hermit crab. When a hermit crab molts, she is soft and vulnerable. This is when she physically grows and then rehardens. When a hermit crab is going to molt, she'll bury herself entirely. She needs depth, darkness, moisture, and heat to successfully molt. This is why your tank has to have at least three inches of substrate along the bottom so she can bury herself, along with being moist and warm. The amount of time it takes a hermit crab to molt is largely determined by the size of the crab. The smaller the crab, the less time it takes to molt, and conversely, the larger the crab, the more time it takes for the crab to molt. A small crab can take as little as two weeks to molt, though most crabs take at least a month, if not more. A crab marceline size takes somewhere around a month and a half. My larger hermit crab, Dante, takes two months to molt. He buries himself and does not come up for a full two months. His last molt was actually two months and two days. When your hermit crab buries to molt, it is most important that you do not dig up the crab. Digging up a molting crab can lead to death, and you don't want that to happen. Hermit crabs molt all the time by themselves in nature. They don't need your help. Don't kill with kindness. Your hermit crab buries herself. Leave her alone. There are a number of signs that your hermit crab is going to molt. One is moving into a smaller shell. Moving into a smaller shell helps your hermit crab because it's more easy for them to bury themselves. Another molting sign is brownish eyes. You can see Marceline has slightly brown eyes here, but usually your hermit crab's eyes are perfectly black and shiny. Another molting sign is a kind of ashy looking exoskeleton. You'll notice that the color of your hermit crab looks a little bit dimmer or duller. It's similar to when a reptile sh is getting ready to shed. Like a snake, for instance, looks paler and looks like it's going to shed. Hermit crabs sometimes get this same kind of coloration. One very interesting and very common molting sign is a fat pouch developing on the hermit crab. You see on the right here, there's kind of this black fat pouch inside the shell along her abdomen. It's hard to get a right view of it, but that's it right there. It's not very big at this point, but it'll get larger. They develop these fat pouches so that while they're buried, they have store of food to pull from, so they don't starve. One final possible sign of molting is that your hermit crab will eat a lot, and then for a few days seem to stop eating and get very lethargic and lazy. Keep in mind that while these are molting signs, not all of these signs always occur, and sometimes none of them do. Anytime your hermit crab buries himself, do not dig him up. He might be molting. One of the most important things you have to do when your hermit crab is going to molt is isolate him. Isolating your hermit crab is the only way that you can be sure that your hermit crab will be safe. Here's why. Hermit crabs are kind of violent. And during a molt, when a hermit crab is soft and vulnerable, it can be eaten by the other hermit crabs in the tank. It happens pretty commonly, actually. Um, hermit crabs that are molting apparently are delicious. So you want to make sure to isolate your crab if you can. If you detect any of the molting signs that we just talked about, you can actually set up what's called an isolation tank or an ISO. An ISO tank should mimic your large tank, just smaller. You're only going to be putting one crab in there at a time. But you're going to want to have all the same stuff. Very deep substrate, pools of water, food, heaters, the works. Another technique for isolating a hermit crab while they're molting is called the soda bottle technique. You can read up about it online easily. Here's how it works. You take a soda bottle, a large one, and cut it in half, rinse it out really thoroughly, make sure there's no soda left in there. Then you use the upper half, the one with the opening where the cap would be, and you sink it into your substrate around where your molting crab is. 
It encases your molten crab and it makes it impossible for other hermit crabs to reach it. This protects the crab inside the tank. If, say, you didn't detect the molting signs and couldn't isolate the crab, or you didn't have an isolation tank ready, or if the crab buried and very suddenly molted. This is an easy and safe way to isolate your crab. I use this technique all the time. It works very well. When your hermit crab comes up from her molt, you'll notice a few differences about her. This is my hermit crab, Tara, who has most recently come up from a molt just a few days ago. You'll notice she is very brightly colored. She has a very long antenna. And if you look closely, you can see the hairs that have grown out as well as on the tips of her feet. She has these little tiny black kind of spikes. Usually in nature those break off pretty easily, but when a crab's just come up from a molt, they have just regrown them. And she's also very active and moves around a lot. Oftentimes hermit crabs become more active after they molt because it's more comfortable for them to move. They fit better in their exoskeleton. If your hermit crab was missing any limbs before she went under for a molt, you might realize that when she comes up, she's miraculously grown them back. This is one of the really interesting things about hermit crabs. They can regenerate any of their limbs, including their big claw. They regenerate antenna, eye stalks, the little spikes on their feet, any limb, claws. It's really quite incredible. If they're regenerating an entire limb, it might take a few molts for it to actually fully regrow. For instance, you might see a crab regenerate a leg, but it's kind of thinner, or a claw, but it's kind of smaller, in a few molts it should return to normal size. It is very important that after your hermit crab come up from her molt, you give her a bath. You can just use regular fresh water, like the kind you would use in their tank, to do this. Giving your hermit crab a bath is necessary so they don't smell like their old exoskeleton, which is a delicious smell apparently to other crabs. You don't want them to smell delicious because then they could be attacked. And you don't want that. So always make sure to bathe your crabs after they come out, up out of a molt. When your hermit crab comes up from her molt, she's going to be very hungry. During the molt, the only food source she has is any fat pouch that she's developed. And then after she re-hardens underground, she actually eats her entire old exoskeleton. But besides that, she's had nothing for a while, maybe a month, maybe two. So when she comes up from her molt, you want to make sure to provide a lot of really good food. If the crab's in an isolation tank, you can give her food specifically. If she's in with the other crabs, just give extra food. Anything you normally feed them is fine. Walnuts, krill, shrimp, vegetables, fruits, all that kind of stuff. Great for them. Make sure to provide something with calcium, because they definitely need calcium after they molt. If you're feeding your hermit crabs right and providing a good environment, they should molt multiple times a year. Marceline actually used to fit in this tiny shell here when I first got her, and she was big then. You saw how big Marceline got, and I've only had her for a little over a year. She's molted three or four times with me so far, so you see it's pretty frequent. You want to make sure to have everything set up properly so your hermit crabs can molt safely. Thank you for watching this video and joining us here at Yadokari Nation. My name is Caroline, and good luck with your hermit crabs!